Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes when you render style frames and such, you don't want to take care of the file naming with every render that you do. And the good news is that you can automate the file naming so that you don't have to take care about it all of the time. And the way how you can do this is by opening the render settings. And in here you can see that we have a manual file name in here. And if I hit render, you can see that the name here is manual file name. And because we didn't specify an output path here, it's going to render the whole thing into the same folder where the Cinema 4D file is. All right, now let's automate things. Let's say we want to have the file name in here. We want to have the take name in here and the camera name. And we can simply do that by hitting this arrow down button here. And here we have all of the options. And we will start with the project name and add an underscore, then we will go on with the take name, add an underscore, and the current camera name. And this is gonna be our output path now. So let's hit render. And you can already see that the file name has been adjusted to raccoon underscore main, this is the take, and camera front, because as you can see here, this is the camera that we are using. If we want to adjust the camera and use camera side, hit render again, you can see that the file name automatically adjusts to have camera side in there. Now I also created some takes for this scene for adjusting the background color. Now let's switch to the background green take and let's hit render again. And now you can see that the file name is raccoon background green camera side. And if we have a look at the finder, you can see that all of these have been created and all of the different file names are here. But what if we also want to create a procedural file path, so to speak? That's also possible because we cannot just add those tokens to the output file name, but also to the whole path. So let's say you want a folder with a project name and underscore render in it, then we just type in $PRJ for the document name, so we don't have to use this arrow here. If we know the name for the variable, we can just type it, underscore, render, and slash. This will create the new folder here. And if we hit render now, you can see there is no warning that we are overwriting a file. The name is still the same. And if I have a look at the finder, you can see that we now have the folder here that is called raccoon render. And in here, we have the file. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.